Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and welcome to our Monday motivation video. Now, if you are new to this channel on Mondays, I read through quotes, scriptures, motivational sayings. I go over experiences that happened in my life or experiences that you all send in to go over, elaborate on, and provide motivation and inspiration for the week. And so uh, obviously today is not Monday. If you've been watching my videos this week uh, and following me on my social media or looking at the community post, then you are aware that uh, this week we're going to be a little bit behind schedule as far as rolling out the Sunday and the Motivational Monday video. Uh, not too far behind schedule, but a little bit behind schedule. I like to make sure that I'm setting the right expectations on this channel because we're all family. Um, and so I apologize for that, but uh, we're catching up. So today I really want to talk about uh, something that uh, is experienced a lot, especially by people that are starting new online businesses. You don't even have to be necessarily in the hair industry to feel this way. And so before we even get into the video, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So today what I want to talk about, uh, I'm going to title the, the video, I think. Uh, it seems like it's impossible to get an order because I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of um you know, questions. A lot of people reach out to me. And like I said, not even necessarily in the hair industry, people from all different industries, because I talk a lot about Shopify, website building, bringing traffic to your site, um, you know, just in, in business information in general. And so it's not just limited to, or my videos are not just limited to people uh, that are selling hair. You know, obviously, you know, I cater a lot of my videos to the hair industry because that's the industry that I'm also in. But I also do, uh, you know, different things um, besides just selling hair to bring in income and so uh if you want to reach out ask me a question you know and you don't sell hair that's completely fine i'm more than happy to i'll be more than happy to answer your questions and to work with you as well um but I've, like I said, I've been receiving uh, emails about, you know, hey, it seems like it's impossible to get an order this video is going to kind of cater to that um I have a couple of bullet points that I do want to go over, so I'm going to kind of go in, in order. And I'm going to be looking down, I'm going to be glancing at my notes. A lot of you that have been following me, you know that's a, a common action of mine to kind of glance down and make sure that we're sticking on topic and to also make sure that I'm not leaving anything out. So the first thing that I want to say to that thought is it's not uncommon to feel uncertainty nor frustration when you are starting a business. I mean, a business is similar to a lot of things that you may work uh, work at in life, you know, whether it's you're starting a new diet, we went over this, this in another video. Video, whether you're starting an organization, you know, whether you're trying something new, whether you're trying to break a habit, a lot of times you can become frustrating, frustrated on that journey. And that's not uncommon. You can start feeling uncertainty about yourself. You know, hey, is this the right move? Did I really make the right investment choice as far as purchasing my domain name, purchasing my website, buying inventory? You know, did I make a mistake? Um, is this going to work? You know, the people that I'm following on social media, they've already received their order. I still haven't. Uh, my friends have already received their order. I haven't. And so a lot of times we can and um, we compare we, we compare ourselves to others in a way that's very negative you know hey why are they so far and why am I not and if you start thinking like that then that can have a negative impact on a lot of things in your life not just your business necessary but necessarily but a lot of different aspects and so we have to make sure that we're always remaining optimistic and we're thinking positive positive. and when we start to get those thoughts in our mind that are like hey she's doing better than you he's doing better than you that we're actually speaking truth and that we're remembering that it's not always about it's not really about who's doing better it's about how how can we strive to be to better ourselves you know without really comparing ourselves to anyone else and like I said um, if you are going to compare yourself to someone else if you are going to compare your bit your journey to someone else's journey then you know at least make sure that it's apples to apples a lot of us compete with a lot of different businesses that aren't even in our genre um, that matters you know every business has their kind of up and down uh spikes individually and also whole as an industry and so for example if you're in construction if you ask a couple construction companies when are they most busy some construction companies will say they're most busy during this season and some will be busy you know during this season and so if you're comparing a construction company that's in their slow season to a fast food business that uh is on campus a college campus those are it's not really comparing apples to apples and so you want to make sure that you're comparing if you are going to compare then you're looking at everything uh truthfully and at a level state because that's also going to help you keep everything in perspective and continue your journey it's going to help keep you motivated if you're looking at things for you know how they actually are now um 
Another thing that I want to point out is remember why you started. A lot of us, we get started on these journeys and then we forget why it is we're actually doing it. You know, if we don't start seeing progression immediately, we're kind of like tapped out and we start gravitating to something that is working. So a lot of us just, you know, stay at our jobs or we decide to, you know what, hey, I'm just going to... Um, do this. I'm just going to do that because it's easy. And although, you know, there's nothing wrong with working and also being an entrepreneur, I always say in my videos, if you're going to give another company eight plus hours of your time each day, then, you know, your business deserves that as well. And I know we're human. I know we all get tired, but we start, we have to start thinking of why we started this, you know, what are we doing? And it's not even just for me. The reason that I um, stress having multiple streams of income, the reason that I do have multiple streams of income set up for myself, it's not even necessarily all because of me, but I want to pave a way for my children so that you know they have more um they have more freedom and more ability to, to kind of maneuver and do what they want to do and so my aunt once told me you know having money it's not even just about you know just saying i have a lot of money but having money gives you in a lot of different areas in your life it gives you it gives you options it gives you more choices and more flexibility and so i want to set that up and so it has to start someplace you know you have to be willing to say you know what this is something i want to do and i'm committed to finding my lane finding a way that's going to increase not only my financial stability but also for my family and like i said there's nothing wrong with working i hear a lot of people saying as well you know i'm not going to work because i don't want to work for nobody but sometimes you know you are going to have to do things that you don't necessarily want to do at that time to get you to another level and so like i said before there's nothing wrong with being an entrepreneur with working there's nothing wrong with being an entrepreneur having multiple businesses there's nothing wrong with any of that but I just want to make sure that we're remembering why we started and remembering what we don't want to go back to and continuing to stay encouraged uh, the next point that I want to go over is if others can do it then so can you like I mentioned a lot of times we compare ourselves with different people with different businesses and we have to if you're going to compare yourself then look at it like this you know instead of looking at it in a negative aspect like hey they're doing better than me I'm doing worse than them look at it as inspiration hey if they're doing it then so can I you know there's no one on here with um no, you know, we're, we're, none of us are, are God, you know, uh, we all are working, we all are learning and there, there isn't one person that I've ever, that I've ever met or that I think it exists in this world that knows everything, you know, so that lets us know that we're still trying, we're still working and you're no exempt. You still have to work at it and try to perfect, you know, your industry, your business and your tactics and your sales techniques and things like that. Because like I said, it's it, the world is, uh, no one knows everything and the world is always changing. Industries are always changing. And so that's, it's why it's important to find something that you really want to do and stick committed to it. Now, of course, when you're in business, I don't care what genre, of course, you know, you'll have times where you may say, you know, hey, I really Really don't want to do this aspect of my business hey I kind of want to change this up and that's okay you know that's honestly that's normal that's fine but just make sure that you're not getting too defeated because the uh, orders that you anticipated receiving hasn't you know they, they haven't come yet um, and like I said if you're going to look at an aspect of hey everyone else is doing it but me then just realize that hey it's not it's not like it can't be done. Everyone else is doing it. It, ha it's, it's, it can be done. Um, I get people that I work with on drop shipping and I tell them all the time, you know, hey, I'm selling hair, you're selling hair. We're selling the same hair. You know, the difference is my brand, your brand. The difference is my technique, your technique. And so I'm not saying, you know, you want to copy everyone's brand or everyone's movement or everyone's technique because that can also uh, stop some of your sales because you're not really be uh, being authentic to you. But I'm saying that look at it in that way that, hey, you know, if we're all, if we all got handed out these bundles to sell, these bundles of hair to sell, and, you know, five out of the 10 people are selling hair, it's not like the product won't sell. You know, we have to go back and look at different reasons. And no, it's not always the price either. I talk about this a lot in videos. I have someone that I was working with. I've been working with this person for a long time and they've tried different things as far as dropping their prices. They've even left drop shipping and come back to drop shipping. And um, they've tried multiple things. And when they tried to lower the price, they still didn't receive any sales. They did not receive any sales. It wasn't until um, some things on the back end were changed with the website. It wasn't until uh, we actually kind of sat down and really made a, a specific plan for their business that they started to see improvement. And so a lot of people underestimate how much goes into running a business. You know, they, they're, like I said, a lot of people that I even talk to, they're like, hey, I'm just going to make a website and make money. And it's like, there's a lot of things that go into making a sale, even online. There's a lot of things. It's not like you just buy hair and people just come to you and purchase. There's a million companies out there, but there's still room for you as long as you have a passion for it, as long as you are going to remain consistent, and as long as you can actually see and trust the process. 
trust what you're doing and trust that you'll get there. And if everyone else is doing it or if everyone can do it, if you hear about people making sales and if you see people making sales, like I said, don't let it discourage you, but let it encourage you that, you know, like this is something that is obtainable. Um, also, the next tip that I want to go over is but let's focus on traffic. So a lot of times when I hear people say they don't have uh, too many sales, I ask them this question. I say, hey, how many people are you bringing to your website in the day, in a day? And people look at me like I'm crazy. They're like, what do you mean? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, well, that's what we need to focus on. We need to focus on how many people are actually coming to your website because we have to drive that number. It's kind of a numbers game. I'm not a numbers person, but if you want to look at it that way, then it, I mean, it kind of is a numbers game. I mean, the more people you have to your website, the higher chance you have of actually securing a sale. And so if you're only getting one person to your website every day and that one person is your cousin you know the chances of you receiving a sale you know aren't very high because you only had that one person visit if you have a website and you have five people coming to your website you know that's better than one but at the same token we still need to work on increasing our traffic so that's something that we need to start at instead of going back and saying you know what i'm just going to drop my prices dirt cheap because what happens when when that happens and you do start to get a sale a lot of people are like dang i didn't even get a i, I didn't make any profit i made a two dollar profit off of this bundle and what can i do with that you know not saying that you shouldn't count everything everything adds up but i'm saying if you're doing something then make sure it's worth your time make sure that you're also valuing valuing and respecting your business enough to not cheat yourself out of money and so um, we have to start focusing on the traffic i'm gonna i made some videos in the past um, about driving more traffic to your website but i'm going i think i'm going to do a series on that too because that's really important and i don't really hear that being talked about a lot you know it's instead of focusing on getting someone to buy to buy to buy and yes that is our ultimate goal we need to work work on you know the the basics get back to the basics and how we can actually start to get people to even go to our website and then once we can get people to go to our website we need to work on okay what let's review your website is your website going to capture their attention long enough for them to actually be interested enough to reading more about your product and adding something to their cart okay so now we got them to add something to their cart so how can we make sure that we get them from just adding things to their cart to actually making that purchase and so it's kind of like a process it's more in depth than just getting a website getting products and selling there's a lot of things that go in on the back end we'll be going over that later on so make sure that you are subscribed that your post notifications are on so that when i start dropping videos about that um, you are notified and you watch the videos um let's see and then another thing that i want to go over is um you know, are you overlooking your sales? A lot of times we focus on one avenue of receiving sales, just that one. If we're selling online, we only look at our website. And a lot of times we overlook a lot of sales that we could have received either on social media, face-to-face -face, in person. And so I'm gonna be making another video in depth um, about not overlooking sales either because a lot of us, we leave things on the table, meaning we just kind of overlook a lot of sales that are right in our face. You know, a sale can come up and slap you in the face and we're not really noticing because we're so focused on just one way of getting a sale and when you are in business you know you, you kind of have to be open-minded I'm not saying that you have to cheat yourself or bend all of your rules but you kind of have to be open-minded and learn to see sales even when a sale doesn't present itself as a sale you have to learn how to look into opportunities and how to really uh, maximize on your opportunities and secure those opportunities uh, into actually you know sales or to future sales and so uh, we'll be talking about that too um, another thing that I want to go over is move forward in faith trust the process so just know like I mentioned in all the videos it's not uncommon to start a business and not get orders immediately it is a, a process a lot of it is trial and error but works for one company it's not always going to work for another you really have to kind of figure out how it's going to work for you your processes your marketing techniques your audience and creating your brand and your vision you know it's you that's going to be working your your, your business uh, a lot of people that start drop shipping a lot of people I've run into you know they love the fact that they have the ability to run their own business and the only responsibility that badge at care has is is sending out the hair on behalf of the company but there's a lot of people that are like hey I thought you were going to talk to my customers hey I thought you were going to do this hey I thought you were going to you know change the products on my website and it's like no you know I don't I'm, I'm not going to run your business I'm going to give you tips and advice and I always say with my tips and advice you know do what works best for you and your business because I understand not everything is going to work uh, the same for everyone um, but you know you have to make sure that you're you're taking this you know kind of by the the, the the reins and you're saying you know what this is what I'm going to do for my business yes I have bad check hair sending out the inventory yes I have an inventory plug and source already but as far as you know me marketing me getting out there me building those business relationships this is on me.
this is on me. So I'm going to devote time because just like you go into work and you, you know, you put time in there and you get seniority and things like that. And, you know, you put money towards your 401k, you still have to work for yourself and your brand if you want it to go someplace. So trust the process, uh, be open to trying new things and stay committed, especially if it's something that you really want. So the next tip that I have and the last tip is don't beat yourself up. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, you know, like I mentioned before, understand that everything takes time. Everything is going to take uh, work and practice. And so don't beat yourself up don't get too down on yourself uh, a lot of people you know when I speak to them they're like hey I've just had a horrible week I haven't made um, I didn't make more sales than I made last week this week I only had five sales and it's like let's stop looking at it like that and be grateful you know hey I had five sales um, I wish I you know would have received more obviously but let's not only look at the sales let's also look at the interactions how many people did we speak to on behalf of our business how many people came to our website and actually um, submitted a question on our contact form how many people called our business number and so if you're still receiving traffic you know those are positive highlights to kind of look at and remind yourself of and like I mentioned you know looking over sales opportunities a lot of people receive a lot of inquiries to their website but just you know we need more practice on how to actually keep those people interested and convert those inquiries into sales and like I said it comes with practice it comes with um, you know trial and error sometimes and so uh, just don't be too hard on yourself realize that it's something that you know you're working at uh, you're not perfect but you don't have to be perfect to be successful either so I really hope this video helped this week let's really focus on moving in confidence let's focus on staying motivated let's focus on what our goals are and let's not get discouraged if we are looking at other businesses then make sure if you're going to if you're going to compare yourself then make sure you're comparing kind of apples to apples which is going to be hard to do because you never really know how any business is truly doing um, and then also allow yourself time to practice allow yourself time to learn the industry allow yourself time to become familiar with working with different people and identifying sales opportunities uh, and increasing you know traffic to your website so again I hope this video helped if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye